Hey everybody, Joe Malice here. Welcome back to another packing video. Today we got about five different items that we had sell on our store on eBay called Retro New Market where we ship same day Monday through Friday until 2 p.m. Well, today we're gonna go over a couple of things, a lot of video game stuff, and there's one thing that's a cookware, so not too bad, but let's go ahead and get started. This first one is going to Salah over in San Antonio. Salah picked up this Blu-ray DVD of Immortals. Uh, this is a 3D copy. <clears throat> the TV behind me is a 3D TV. So you would utilize it on like a PlayStation 3 would do 3D. And then uh, I believe PlayStation 4 does 3D. And then also 3D players and stuff. So we used to watch a lot of movies like Shrek and stuff. But Immortals has a dis digital copy. I don't think it's going to be active because a lot of the times the digital content is not current they do expire or they're utilized but salah thank you very much i hope i'm saying your name right i believe i am but you never know there is your note they paid three dollars and seventy cents and shipping which is the media mail so let's get this done Do -do -do. And first one taken care of. Thank you very much. The second one is going to be my last uh, to 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 Totoku collection, the Nino Kuni 2 Relevant Kingdom Evan figure. That's, that's three inches. That is a mouthful said so many times. So this is the figurine in question. Uh, this is the one that I was deciding the other day. It doesn't have any really bins on the on the card, but it does have this rip on the back over the UPC. So that's why the other person who had a slight bin but no rips, I gave them that one first because I felt like it just, I don't know, displayed better for what it was. I don't know what my logic was. But that goes in here, double bladder. I cut this box down. Um, it was going to be over 10 uh, grams, ounces, whatever, 10 ounces, 10 ounces. And it ended up being uh, easier just to chop off a little bit and then tape it down. So let's go ahead and do that. Get it taken care of. Of course, I have my free bubble mail from my buddy at their game shop. Plus, I had a bunch of packaging come in from packages that I personally bought. So, yeah, definitely excited about the new year coming up. A lot of great um, ideas coming in for videos and pickups. I'm going to go ahead and try to get through the last of the videos from last year. Done probably in the next two weeks. I'm just going to power through them myself and just get them knocked out. I feel like it would be pretty nice to get a lot of that content done and just out of my hair. So this one sold for $4.70 with shipping. And let's go into Arena over in Pennsylvania. Thank you very much. Your package is on the way. Next up, we have the second to the last of my Wii Active Personal Trainers. These I had picked up in uh, Louisiana at one of the open market flea markets there. They were or are new, oh, I'm sorry, they are open box new, but you can see that they have their packaging in their containers and you're not gonna have anybody sweat all over you from someone else's previous purchase. So that's cool. And the game is also in there, which allows you to utilize the Wii Fit function. And I mean, the Wii had the best, by far, multifunctional, used for people just you could be young old um handy capable and then you know all the other things in between and get a lot of fun satisfaction out of this so definitely think the wii had one of the bigger impacts and they tried to do it with the switch you know, some of the active and stuff like that, some of those brands, but they're just, they, they don't hit the same type of way. And that's why the Wii just keeps getting picked up all the time. Now, the consoles 
more uh, the consoles are outliving the d games a lot easier for sure because games definitely sell more than consoles do but always fun time seeing cool Wii stuff go out for the people right. there's that and that so now we have our packaging done And we're going to put that on there. Bam, tucked acting to acting. Wasn't that John Madden? Hmm, R.I.P. John Madden. I think it was. <laughs> All right, so next up, we have a vintage Nordic Ware aluminum metal butt cake. Stand, cover, lid, dome, that's red. And it's just the lid only, but it looks like this. And I would put it on my head to, to uh, display it like a hat, but someone's probably gonna use it for a cake. And I wouldn't want that. This is like pressed stainless steel or pressed aluminum maybe. It has a bolt, you can unscrew the top it is pretty. I'm assuming it would be a part of a set. It's going to go in this big, huge box right here with the note. I'm not going to wrap it because it's metal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this keystone kind of bubble wrap on the top where the um, little handle's at. Like, granted, I should unscrew it and just ship it that way. But I think it's going to add a little bit of pressure. And so if I do this on top, give it some little goof push on there then when I come in here well I can do this too hold on Boo! get my magic bag of bladders put some bladders in there one two three four get the bladders on the floor all right Bladder in, bladder out, bladder bing, bada boom. So, throw this back out of here. You know what? No. Nope. Not going to do it. I'm going to unscrew it. I just have to. I feel like it just requires it. I feel like if I don't, I'm just not going to enjoy it. So I'm going to unscrew it so it doesn't get bent, pushed, or poked. I'm going to flip it upside down so that's upside down. I'm going to put this in there. I'm going to tape it to the bottom. And then so. Tape it to the bottom. Uh, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. So now we're going to put it in like that. And so it's taped to the bottom. And then it's still fit in here. And it shouldn't go anywhere. I mean, its I don't think it's going to go anywhere. If it does, that'd be kind of weird. But blunt cake aside, giggity, this is going to be one... Baking good time? No, 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 no. That was bad. I take that one back. I'm sorry. Not a good pun. But heat activate. Bottom one. Tape activate one. Ooh, come on, eBay tape. All right. This one is priority today and is going to Chicago, Illinois. So hopefully it makes it in transit just fine. Chicago is one of those really bad transit hubs. So they're the international hub 
for the United States from Canada and vicariously through other Canadian type places that come through there. So Norwegian, I'm assuming Greenland and stuff like that come through that way for some reason. Instead of New York or whatever. They come up to the north. But for whatever reason, they always have a huge backlog, continuous backlog, log, and that's what usually ends up happening. They just don't have um, the space or the manpower, I guess. But Derek, ooh, nice name. Derek in Chicago paid $27.70 plus $12 shipping for this item. So thank you very much, Derek. Last but not least, this is going to be going out to Teddy in Maryland. And they picked up this Starlink Battle for Atlas game only, brand new factory seal thing. Now, what's funny is I believe it's just a code on the inside of this. So there's not even a game in there. It's just going to be a code when they open it up that they can download. So they basically get a free case. Honestly, I think it's kind of crappy because it reminds me of what Fortnite used to do after they took away their actual hard disk of Fortnite, the first game of Fortnite. So because of that, you would buy like their packs and it would be what would look like a game, but it's not. So interesting enough, I think it's kind of wasteful, but I understand it's marketing and advertisement. So you got to do something, I guess. But besides that, let's go ahead and talk about the game of the day. It is the 64 version of Paper Mario. You know, no cap. I really didn't play it. Uh, I have it. I just haven't got a chance to. I have such a big backlog. It wasn't something I played when I was younger. And, you know, I know it's the first RPG for, you know, the 64 in the Mario realm. And I know there's a lot of great to it. So, I mean, it's definitely going to be something I want to pick up. I believe there's a paper. No, it's not. It's the 64 one. But I believe there's a paper. What? Was there? There wasn't a paper Mario for the SNES, it was, what was it? It was a different, was the Paper Mario? So again, I probably even have it too. You know, that's how much I don't prepare <laughs> for any of the games of the day. I just grabs it off my shelf and go, eh, let's talk about this today where I have probably no information related, ready to go, or even just prepare <laughs> whatsoever, as you can tell. Remember, none of this is scripted. This is all on the fly, how I feel, and just whatever I end up saying, so. Yeah, Paper Mario, check it out, N64. I'm sure there's plenty of other versions. I know I have it for um, the GameCube. I have a couple copies for the GameCube, but definitely, I mean, it's a continuous IP that kept going on and on and on. So definitely check it out. Great game. But besides that, thank you for hanging out with me today. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit me up on my social medias, uh, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook uh, group and then also our Discord, which is free. You don't have to pay for it. You can come into my Discord and just chat it up with everybody and have a good time. <laughs>